This is DW News coming to you live from Berlin. You're looking at live pictures from the Norwegian capital Oslo, where the Nobel Committee is about to announce the winner of this year's Nobel Peace Prize. Let's listen in. Sun Sendegi Azadi. Women, life, freedom. The Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize for 2023 to Nargis Mohammadi for her fight against the oppression of women in Iran and her fight to promote human rights and freedom for all. Her brave struggle has come with tremendous personal cost. Altogether, the regime has arrested her 13 times, convicted her five times, and sentenced her to a total of 31 years in prison and 154 lashes. Ms. Mohammadi is still in prison as I speak. In September 2022, a young Kurdish woman, Masha Gina Amini, was killed in the custody of the Iranian Morality Police. Her killing triggered the largest political demonstrations against Iran's theocratic regime since it came to power in 1979. Under the slogan, Woman, Life, Freedom, hundreds of thousands of Iranians took part in peaceful protests against the authorities' brut brutality and oppression of women. The regime cracked hard down on the protests. More than 500 demonstrators were killed. Thousands were injured, including many who were blinded by rubber bullets fired by the police. At least 20,000 people were arrested and held in custody. The motto adopted by the demonstrators, woman, life, freedom, suitably expresses the dedication and work of Nargis Mohammadi. Woman, she fights for women against systematic discrimination and oppression. Life, she supports women's struggle for the right to live full and dignified lives. This struggle across Iran has been met with persecution, imprisonment, torture, and even death. Freedom. She fights for freedom of expression and the right to independence, and against rules requ requiring women to remain out of sight and cover up their bodies. The freedom demands expressed by demonstrators apply not only to women, but to the entire population. In the 1990s, as a young physics student, Nargis Mohammadi was already distinguishing herself as an advocate for equality and women's rights. After concluding her studies, she worked as an engineer as well as a columnist in various reform-minded newspapers. In 2003, she became involved with the Defense of Human Rights Center in Tehran, an organization founded by the Nobel Peace Prize laureate Shirin Ebadi. In 2011, Ms. Mohammadi was arrested for the first time and sentenced to many years of imprisonment for her efforts to assist incarcerated activists and their families. 
Two years later, after her release on bail, Ms. Mohammadi immersed herself in a campaign against the use of death penalty. Iran has long been among the countries that execute the highest proportion of their inhabitants annually. Just since January 2022, more than 860 prisoners have been punished by death in Iran. Her activism against the death penalty led to the re-arrest of Ms. Mohammadi in 2015 and to a sentence of additional years behind walls. Upon her return to prison, she began, she began opposing the regime's systematic use of torture and sexualized violence against political prisoners, and especially women, that is practiced in Iranian prisons. Last year's wave of protests became known to the political prisoners held inside the notorious Evin prison in Tehran. Once again, Ms. Mohammadi assumed leadership. From prison, she expressed support for the demonstrators and organized solidarity actions among her fellow inmates. The prison authorities responded by imposing even stricter conditions. Ms. Mohammadi was prohibited from receiving calls and visitors. She nevertheless managed to smuggle out an article which the New York Times published on the one-year anniversary of Marsha Gina Amini's killing. The message was, the more of us they lock up, the stronger we become. From captivity, Ms. Mohammadi has helped to ensure that the protests have not ebbed out. Nargis Mohammadi is a woman, a human rights advocate, and a freedom fighter. In awarding her this year's Nobel Peace Prize, the Norwegian Nobel Committee wishes to honor her courageous fight for human rights, freedom, and democracy in Iran. This year's Peace Prize also recognizes the hundreds of thousands of people who in the preceding year have demonstrated against the theocratic regime's policies of discrimination and oppression targeting women. Only by embracing equal rights for all can the world achieve the fraternity between nations um, that Alfred Nobel sought to promote. The award to Nargis Mohammadi follows a long tradition in which the Norwegian Nobel Committee has awarded the Peace Prize to those working to advance social justice, human rights, and democracy. These are important preconditions for lasting peace. Thank you. Madam Chair, um, and what impact do And you that was that you've been watching uh, live coverage there of the awarding of the Nobel Peace Prize for 2023. That was uh, Berit Rice Anderson. She is the chair of the Norwegian Nobel Committee, and she just announced that this year's, this year's Nobel Peace Prize is awarded to Nagas Mohammadi, the Iranian human rights activist. Well, with me in the studio here to talk more about this is my colleague Benjamin Alvarez Gruber. Uh, Benjamin, a surprise here? Some were expecting that this would go to women rights activists either in Afghanistan or in Iran. It, she was mentioned just as a freedom fighter and it's quite remarkable hearing those words that she started during the, her university degree. 
and even in prison. She was in prison uh, several times. She was sentenced and she was released again. She continued with her advocacy of uh, protesting and being also uh, helping against the oppression of women in Iran. And that's one of the last sentences also that we just heard that's quite remarkable, saying that it's not just for her. I mean, the Nobel Peace Prize is uh, for her, of course, for all the work that she has done, but also for all the women, all the people that have been uh, protesting the regime in, in Tehran. So quite remarkable life that's being recognized here. So Mohabadi has become uh, synonymous with the fight for uh, human rights in Iran. We've just been looking at some pictures. Uh, she has been involved in this human rights struggle for, for many years. Uh, it was interesting to hear the chair of the Nobel Committee there saying that she's been arrested 13 times, convicted five times. Uh, she's been uh, given 31 years in prison. She remains in prison and uh, she's also uh, been sentenced to 154 lashes and that her conditions of her of her detention have been made even more strict as she has tried to um, reach out to the outside world. I wonder if she's even going to be able to get news of this herself. Amnesty International calls her a prisoner of, of conscience, called for immediate release and she started advocating, so she, she's the vice president of this Defender of Human Rights Center that is headed by another Nobel Peace Prize laureate, Shirin Ebadi. And while well, she was studying, she started fighting for the rights of women in her country. Then uh, she had this degree in physics, a professional engineer. She started writing articles as a journalist herself and then continued um, working uh, even when she was under these really difficult um, conditions in jails that she also um, criticized and sent out this information. The BBC even published a piece while she was there in prison saying how difficult, how dire the conditions in jail still were and that she continued uh, with that work and she never, never gave up. That's quite remarkable that even with everything that happened that you just mentioned, that she was in jail, that uh, she was then released again, and she just continued to fight. There mm. was almost a motivation to continue working for this so important cause. And her cause, uh, she had multiple causes. I mean, human rights in general, uh, the rights of women Women, of course, and, uh, and conditions in prison, but she was fighting against the death penalty in Iran as well. That was one of her uh, one of her main choices. Um, so, uh, tell us a little bit, Benjamin, just quickly about how the Nobel P uh, P Committee chooses its recipients and how they arrived at choosing this person. Well, bef before we go to that, I would just like to to touch on something quite interesting. We had the first anniversary of the death of Dina Massa Amini. It was in September of this year, only a few weeks ago. And Berlin and many other governments also called on saying um, these what police is doing there continues and we want them to be able to protest freely, to be able to raise the voice against the conditions because people and still being detained, they go on the streets, that there are dire conditions in jail. So for them, it's important to show that it's not only for her, but also for the people who continue uh, going there. The process, there are just some people that can nominate uh, candidates for the Nobel Peace Prize. You have some members of this committee. Do, do we know who nominated her? Um, sometimes the people come forward, so now we have 300, we have 351 candidates, so mm -hmm. we had a number of people, it could be people, sometimes it can be organizations. Right. Also looking at the past year, we had uh, two or three people sharing the prize in a year. Uh, but it's a really That's right. There were all, it was also, uh, in this case, uh, civil rights organizations from Ukraine, Russia, and Belarus at the same time. I had the pleasure of sitting down with uh, one of those laureates uh, a couple of weeks ago for an hour. Fascinating discussion. It changes the lives of, of people who are doing it. Absolutely. And sometimes there are guesses, people who say, you know, I want to nominate this person, I want to nominate another person. But of course, there is no confirmation. And that's something really interesting about the process. They will not confirm or deny by the people who selected of this committee, who was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. So, of course, is some have ideas in which direction it could go, but of course, it's always a surprise. Benjamin, thank you very much. Uh, Benjamin Alvarez Gruber, our correspondent, thanks for putting us in context for us. You are watching DW News. Uh, Let's just, here's just a reminder of our top story. What we've just learned is that the uh, 2023 Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded to Iranian pro-democracy activist Nargis Mohammadi. The Norwegian Nobel Committee honored Ms. Mohammadi for, quote, her fight against the oppression of women in Iran and her fight to promote human rights and freedom for all. I'm Terry Martin. Thanks for watching.
our interest, the global economy. Our portfolio 